Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to remove the flywheel on a Rotax 122 Prilio RS125. I'm in the middle of stripping my top end down at the moment. I don't need to take the flywheel off, I'm just going to take it off for the purpose of this video. Um, so I've just drained my coolant. So ignore everything else. You do not need to remove the carb, the exhaust, drain your coolant. You don't need to do any of that. Um, you don't need to take the cylinder off. All you need is a flywheel puller, which uh, I have one here. This is a modified Mini Metro, um, modified Mini slash MG Metro A series um, flywheel puller. Um, so you can, you don't have to get a flywheel puller for an RS. Um, as I said, this is for a Mini or an MG Metro or any of the A series engines. Um, obviously, I have a Mini as well. Some of you may know. So this is quite handy for me because it does both. Um, all I had to do was elongate these slots by about 50 mil. Um, to get the um, flywheel extraction holes in the right place and, and that's it so you can either modify an existing flywheel puller or buy one specifically for the RS it's up to you but you will need one you can't do this without one of these um, without damaging your flywheel you can do it without one um, I don't recommend doing it so I'm not going to show you how to do it um, also it may be worth making up a bracket that looks a little bit like this. Um, this is just a piece of five mil thick aluminium um, that I, I made, I've got two here. Uh, basically what this allows you to do is to bolt this to the flywheel and lock it in place to stop it rotating while you try and um, undo the nut because that will be a problem. Uh, it's a bit of a crude way of doing it, uh, but uh, oh well, it works, doesn't really matter. So once you've got your flywheel, you've got your bracket to stop it rotating oh, all you need now is some tools so you're going to need a 5mm iron key uh, you are going to need a I can't remember what size socket it is I'm going to guess with a 19 and whatever your flywheel extractor thing is but we'll get to that so first of all you want to move the right hand side fairing I've already done that because I'm stripping the top end not sure I have enough room here to get this car. Should be able to. Then you want to remove the flywheel puller, fly, flywheel cover. Uh, it's a five mil Allen key, so it takes a bit of time because these are quite long. Do do do. Here we go. Right. So when you take this off, don't forget there's a little cover in there. Don't lose that because you will need it for your start motor. Um, there's a pickup here. You've got your flywheel. You've got your start motor bendix. Um, this flywheel has been lightened by me, so if you guys want one of these, as I said, description, that's why mine looks a little different. Um, there's a little 8mm nut there, I, I, have actually miss, I am actually missing one out of the pickup tab, don't worry about that. Um, pretty sure it's an 8mm. So that's the first thing you need to do, is to remove the pickup tab. Uh, a lot of people will go on about the clearance of the pickup tab um, and this pickup unit, but to be fair, I found that as long as you bolt it on, it works. All right, so I'm going to put that back in the hole just so I don't lose it. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to have to do is to remove this nut here. Now, if you try and undo the nut without using anything else, you will just simply turn the engine over. As you can see, the flywheel is directly bolted onto the crank. So, what you're going to need is this. And I will need a long screwdriver as well. So, this is what the bracket is for that I made up. So I can uh, place these on here and screw this in. Push the nuts down. Let's clamp that on there. Then I have a, uh, I can put a screwdriver in that slot there. So then I can hold that now and that'll stay still. This, I mean, this is not the complete legit way to do it, I must admit but it works. As you can see, I've released the flywheel nut now. 
and pay this off. That one's out of there. There is a washer on the end of the flywheel, so be aware of that. Now, I'm gonna keep this bracket on here, but I'm gonna actually have to take it off because I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put my flywheel puller on top of it, but I will need the bracket on there for when I put the puller on. So, let me crawl over here. Grab this. So, this gets a little fiddly. Um, but basically, I want to try and get these back to the top. And obviously, everyone's set up uh, with their flywheel pullers is going to be different. Mine is completely ghetto. Um, but whatever works, doesn't really matter. Uh, I've always managed to get my flywheels off by doing this. And, you, you know, you can, you can buy flywheel pullers off eBay, PJ Me sell them. Um, you can get them from anywhere, really. So, I remember there's some washers that don't really work with this, but it should do the job. I need to get some better uh, screws and washers, really. But that's a job for another day. Uh, I'm gonna like that. Get my hook through there. Did I do that? No, I still not put the washer on there. So yeah, as you guys, you can probably already tell this setup is super ghetto. Uh, how did I do this before? It's quite important that you uh, do these up evenly. Uh, so when you uh, get the bolt down, it might not be centre. Whereas that one isn't. Okay, so then you just get your massive extraction screw in the middle. And I can't remember what size that is, probably a 21. Actually, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, it's a 24 as well, just in case. Can't bother to walk back over there. And there it is, it's a 24. So this does get a little fiddly. But basically, this is all you do. <coughs> there you go, you'll hear that pop noise. <coughs> and voila, flywheel is off. So while I've got the flywheel off, I will show you guys the, um, the light and flywheel for anyone that's interested, of course. So I want to keep um, reiterating the fact that this is super ghetto, my uh, extractor setup, but hopefully you guys have got better flywheel extractors than me. Um, it's only because I couldn't be bothered to go and buy a flywheel puller when I've got one already, so I just modified the one I had. Um, so yeah, let's see you get the flywheel off. Um, this is a flywheel that I've lightened. It's 80 grams lighter than standard. Um, you do notice it. It's quite, it's quite noticeable actually. So yeah, prices are in the description if you guys want a flywheel like this, um, and, and it looks pretty cool as well, even though no one can see it. So put the flywheel back on. Obviously, you just watch how it goes on though, because the magnets will pull it 
the second you get close and you want it to get on the keyway. There we go. Slide on now. And then you just put your um, the washer on. And then the nut. Uh, you don't want that. Where's the nose here? There it is. And you've got to put these back on to stop it rotating and then. So yeah, even if you have got a flywheel puller, um, the only problem is that you might need to make a bracket. Um, there is some useful information that I can tell you. These holes are 52 mil apart. So for anyone that wants to make their own. Obviously these nuts have locked up now. Just because I'm doing it on video, everything has to be a ball eight. That's why a lot of the times when I work on my bike, I don't really record it because it just, it makes everything go 40 million times longer. So stick that back in there, stick that in that hole. And just tighten this up. You want this reasonably tight. Um, there is a torque setting for it, but as long as it's tight, it's not going to come back off. So there you go guys, that's how to remove and to reinstall flywheel on the Rotex 122. I'm not sure about the 123 because I've never even seen a Rotex 123 flywheel in real life. Um, but as long as you get a puller, you make up some brackets, it's easily done um, with the engine in the bike, with the cylinder still on because there are a lot of people that say take the cylinder off and stick a screwdriver through the um, gudgeon pin hole on the comrod. But you can obviously do it without doing that. So. There you go, hopefully I've uh, answered a few people's questions. Um, sorry for the extremely unprofessional video. Um, but, yeah, whatever. I wasn't very prepared for doing this, I just thought I'd quickly do it.